A plastic storage box in the shape of a rectangular prism has a length of, what does it say, x plus 3. Oops, spelled length wrong. Oh boy. Length of x plus 3 and a width of x minus 4 and a height of 5. So we can sketch this out. You know, you might consider sketching these when you're doing these problems. It might help you see the answer a little more clearly. So here's my rectangular storage box, and we have we have our length is usually this dimension, x plus 3, and our width is right here, x minus 4, and the height, this lateral height right here, it's just 5. They want to know what the surface area would be, and they want you to represent it as a trinomial in terms of x. A trinomial means three terms, so they want this to be essentially a quadratic. Um, you can almost see that happening here. To find surface area, what do we do? Well, we find the area of each face and then add them all up. So what's the area of this face right here? Well, that's x plus 3 times 5. So 5 times x plus 3. They create a different a color there. 5 times x plus 3. Next, we need to take care of this face on the top. And that's what? Well, that's x minus 4, this dimension, times x plus 3, this dimension. So plus x minus 4 times x plus 3. So here we have this other face. It's then that's what? That's x minus 4 by 5. So our final sequence here is x minus 4 times 5. But the, that's just three of the faces. There are six in total, right? So it's double each of these. So 2 times everything here. That's the way I'm going to do. I'm going to simplify everything and then double it all. So first we have 5 times x plus 3. That's 5x plus 15. Then x minus 4 times x plus 3. Well, x times x is x squared. x times 3 is 3x. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x. And negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. And then we have 5 times x minus 4. I'm going to write that over here. Remember, we're adding so I can reshuffle the, the order. It shouldn't matter. 5x minus 20. Now we have all this. Let's simplify it. Um, so if I all our x terms, we have 5x here right, 5x here, and 3x minus 4x, that's that's negative x, right, so negative x, so 10x, right, 5x plus 5x is 10x, minus x is 9x, then we have negative 20 and 15, what's that, well that's negative 5, minus 12 over here is negative 17, then we have x squared all by itself, so that's right there. And we're almost done, just remember to double everything here, because we need six faces, not three. So 2x squared plus 18x minus 34. And, you know, of course you can go through and, and check this in different ways, but for me, I would just go back and repeat the process, right? 5x plus 15, check. Here, x squared plus 3x minus 4x minus 12, that's right here, got it, check. 5x minus 20, here, we add them up, 5x, 5x, that's 10x minus x is 9x, got that, great. Negative 20, 15, that's negative 5, minus 12 is negative um, 17, right? And x squared is all by itself, great, and then I double it all, so this looks right to me. So there we go, and if you had the time to check, you could plug in values for x and see if the surface area actually works, but I don't think that's necessary.